This is the third video of my exchange rates um, series, which is unit 3.2 in the IB economic syllabus. And in this video, I'm going to evaluate the possible consequences of changes in exchange rates. Let's get started. So the IB economic syllabus requires you to be able to evaluate and discuss the effects of changes um, of ch changes of the exchange rates on the inflation rate in the country, as well as employment, as well as economic growth and the current account balance. So this is what I'm going to do. First of all, let's look at the effects on inflation. If the currency appreciates, if its value goes up, demand for exports will decrease as a result. And that's foreign demand for exports. And domestic demand for imports will increase because now local residents can buy more imports. This leads to a fall in aggregate demand and could lead to a slowing down of inflation. Similarly, if the currency depreciates, if its value falls, as a consequence, the demand for exports by foreigners will increase and the demand for imports by local residents will decrease, which could lead to an increase in aggregate demand and hence the inflation rate will rise. Now let's have a look at the effects on employment. If the currency appreciates, demand for exports will fall and the demand for imports will increase. Aggregate demand will therefore decrease. Employment will decrease as a result, so unemployment rises, especially in export industries. Now remember, all of these are based on the assumption that everything else is held constant, nothing else changes. That's why I'm using the words may. Now what about effects on economic growth? Well, if the currency appreciates, demand for exports will fall by foreigners and the demand for imports by local residents will increase. Aggregate demand falls, this will also slow down economic growth. And the opposite is true. If the currency depreciates, if its value falls, foreign demand for exports will increase, domestic demand for imports will fall, aggregate demand will therefore increase, and economic growth will speed up. So a currency depreciation can have some positive effects, like speeding up economic growth. What about effects on the current account balance? The current account balance is essentially the um, balance that keeps track of um, exports of goods and services versus imports of goods and services. If the currency appreciates, we know that foreign demand for exports will fall because now exports are more expensive for foreigners and domestic demand for imports will rise. The current account balance may move into deficit, other things held constant, ceteris paribus. And the opposite is true. If the currency depreciates, foreign demand for exports may rise, domestic demand for imports may fall, and the current account balance may, as a result, may move into surplus. So remember, you need to evaluate to look at the positives and the negatives, to look at the pros and cons, um, offer a balanced argument.